first slice in the broad jump. Oh wait, I missed something. Third and one. Two thirds. Two seconds. And the ball throw. And a first in the 100 meter dash. Second place in the shot put and second place in the 50 meter dash. 
much. Tiffany ready? Help your team out a great deal and hit the ball real hard in the ball game. Justin 
and Brownie. Got second in the discus. Second in the broad jump. Third in the ball throw. Third in the 50 meter dash. And third in the 100 meter dash. Christmas programs. 
And also, um, I met the first teacher that ever taught in this building after it was built. Uh, the school was built in either 1925 or 1926, and the teacher's name was Marguerite Orr. And she and her sister showed up one day, and they were reminiscing about things that had gone on here. And I did want to talk to her, and um, you know how slow I can be sometimes? I believe she passed away this uh, year or so ago, so I never could get to talk to her. So I really would have liked to. So uh, I did get a little bit of advice from a few other people. And so we went to work and we dug out. Some of you may, if you've been here for a few years, uh, you realize that we got different curtains this year. We figured these were older than the other ones. And we also have a few little side curtains back there to make it look like it might have looked at a program here back in the 1920s or the 1930s. And all of the material that we're using tonight is taken from real old playbooks and program books that possibly could have been used. And uh, I, the only thing that bothered me was if they had a Christmas tree or not. So uh, I contacted Ione Dixon. She sometimes gives me a few ideas. And she said, well, when she went to rural school, they just went down the road and they cut down a cedar tree. So, and they said they had all homemade decorations. As you know, there wasn't electricity or anything like that. So that's what we did. And the children are dressed in costumes from the 1920s and the 1930s. And um, so we did a little scrounging around to come up with costumes for everybody. And so I hope you enjoy their look and their sound. It's very traditional type material, nothing new and revolutionary. And some of the things that you uh, hear them say will sound a little bit old fashioned, but that's intended to be that way. So I guess uh, without any other comments from me, I can be long winded sometimes. So it's, I think it's time to start.
glad new year.
<laughs> or maybe I'll try and pie. We'll say what's piled up pie. Some cookies with nuts and spice. They taste very crisp and nice. In just a minute or two, I'll cook a fine lunch for you. Woo! 
far too down to kiss the tip, and then it settled there. Oh, isn't it beautiful? The rain grows into jewels when north wind began to blow.
why don't you see dear Santa Claus? Though she's cute and sweet, I'm afraid it'd never do for them to ever meet. <laughs> Not you blame, the teacher right. Mom and Dad have done their best. She has the only one that fault. She's a frightful pest. <laughs> <laughs> she declares she will to Santa. She'll want him on the street. It really will be just too bad if those two chance to me. <laughs>
Stop this. She went through the door to make it last good night. Go through the door and see Stanley. The little bubble works. She sat down and caught the table for me and did it with the teacher. She shyly carried with her an old red stocking leg. She meant to take it with the rest, but found there was no pay. Oh, okay. 
there are children that I left out last night, so I returned this Christmas day to try to make it right.
Let's see, I can't get the first nuts on. Is that Brandon? No. I can't even see. Brandon probably won't get up there. Some blonde haired little kid in it. Look like Brandon. 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 Brandon will, Brandon will get on his lap a bit. So what the hell have you been doing there, Gary? Good stuff every day. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Down in the pavement. You've been taking out to eat or something? Take me out to eat or something. Is that on? Yes, it is. I don't know. When are we going to do that? You've been real busy? Yeah, after her? Yeah. Oh, I think. Got to get Brandon's up there next. You better get him. I don't want anybody in the way. I bet he don't go up there. this way.
I was just thinking about that. I hope we didn't take over on that. <laughs> I don't think we did. You, you still got it. Yeah. The boys on camera right now. Can I unfilm it? And you will hear what we said. <laughs> and this is Jason looking for a free gift from the side. But he had to be nice, right, Grace? You got it. Sunday of Advent season, as we are reminded of Jesus, who is the light in our darkness, by the candles on the Advent tree, we experience a much deeper meaning of Christmas than decorations and material gifts. On this third Sunday in Advent, we celebrate our joy. Jesus is the reason for the season, and in him we find joy. We read in Isaiah 51, 11, So the ransom of the Lord shall return, and come to Zion with singing, everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and signs shall flee away. And joy did come with Christmas. We read in Luke 2, 10 to 12, the announcement by the angels to the shepherds, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you <coughs> born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. We anticipate and celebrate joy at Christmas because God's gift and his promise are both the sign and reality of his love and presence with us on the journey of life through Advent and all days beyond Advent. On the first Sunday of Advent, we lit a candle as a reminder of the importance of preparing our hearts for the Christ child. Last Sunday, we lit the second candle Remembering that love came down to us at Christmas in the Christ child. Today, on the third Sunday of Advent, we light the candle of joy. The shepherds found that joy 
and so can we, when we get so caught up in what happened at the stable at Bethlehem, that we too go to worship him. Father, we give thanks for joy around us and joy within us. We give thanks for the joy that is ours in knowing that deeper meaning of Christmas because we know Jesus as the one that Christmas is all about. Amen.
read promise. God made a perfect world for us. He saw all that he had made, and it was very good. But the world didn't stay perfect for long. Adam and Eve's disobedience brought sin into the world. And with sin came death. God loved Adam and Eve so much that he promised to send his only son to de defeat the devil and save them from their sins. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. God made that same promise to us. He sent his only son to suffer and die for us. The blood of Jesus washes all of our sins away. Come, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow, and they are empty. <laughs> While they were there, 
the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Luke 2, verses 4 through 7.
Holy Spirit, give us a new life by sending the Holy Spirit to work faith in our hearts at our baptism. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Mark 16, 16a. Through this water and this word, God gives us his name and makes us his own sons and daughters.
Blue water and his precious were worth faith, a gift from God my Lord. A purple robe is for my king, a crown of life is what he brings. <coughs> God's Christmas rainbow helps me see the, prom the promises he keeps for me.
Let us stand and join in singing, O come all you faithful, page 386. Yes, give us peace and give us rest. 